Relax. Everything's gonna be alright. <laughs> Ah, the Crate Dragon Fang. I'm in perfect condition. I'm deeply impressed with how you handled those Geonosians, Captain. Remember that Sith we heard about? She controls the Geonosians, and she wants to meet Diago. The Sith is behind the attacks on our operation? How do you know? For a being of pure evil, she was surprisingly forthcoming. Typical Sith. Start negotiations by blasting everything in sight. Let's hope that Jedi from my club puts the Sith out of our misery. We're going to an underground water well the natives call the Light Spring. The boss turned it into his private retreat. Now that we have the Fang, he let us into- Oh! What now? Kukri! The palace is under attack! Imperial commandos! They're tearing us apart, breaching the security doors! <laughs> Yaga will be furious if this palace falls to the Empire. Only one thing to do. Do the Imperials and meet me at the Light Spring. Wait a minute. We can both fit in that escape route. But you need to stop the Imperials from finding it while I get away. Good luck. See you at the Light Spring. Hello again. I was afraid you might have forgotten our agreement, so I sent some friends to jog your memory. Call off your attack dogs, lady. Gladly. All you have to do is honor your commitment. You promised to arrange a meeting for me with Diago. I want it. Now. Diago's at a place called the Light Spring. I'll send you the coordinates. See? That wasn't so hard. I just sent the all-clear signal to my soldiers. They're retreating as we speak. Oh. Or well, perhaps not. What's the matter? You can't find the exit? Not exactly. Apparently, little Nariel has decided to poke her lightsaber where it doesn't belong. She's killing my soldiers at the palace's main door. Be a dear and throw her off our trail. Then meet me at the light spring. I'll see you there. They wouldn't surrender. Why don't they ever surrender? I don't think they hear too good through those helmets. Please don't make jokes. People have died. I'm disappointed to see you in this place after our last conversation. I thought you'd learn to stop associating with criminals. Why are you here? You following me, Jedi? I heard about this palace back at the club. I came hoping to find Bavaron Zare, but it seems I've just missed her. If you know anything about the Sith's current whereabouts, please tell me. Zare's headed for the desert, to an underground well called the Light Spring. You did the right thing informing me of this. Stay here. When I confront Zare, it will be a horrific battle. You won't want to be around. May the Force be with us both. Farewell. Perfect solitude for a year. Now, four interruptions in a day. 
frustrating. I didn't lead the Jedi or the Sith here, boss. I don't know how they found you. I'm just here for the sensor computer. Be out of your hair in no time. You can't just cut and run! Help us clean up this mess! Why do I get the feeling you're playing us against each other? Can't believe you'd jeopardize your reward from me. Reward? What's she talking about? Leave me out of your little drama, alright? Cold feet, hmm? I thought you were tougher than that. Empty chatter. Like fingernails on transparent steel. I will silence. Who is that? Captain, haven't heard from you in a while. Everything alright? I'm kind of in the middle of something, Risha. Oh, beautiful girl. So... beautiful. Wait, is that him? You're with Diago? I want to see her again. Now! I could set you two up if you're interested. Bring her to me, and I'll forgive you for disturbing my sanctuary. Diago, dear, I can offer you so much more. Just as soon as we rid ourselves of this Jedi. Afraid to fight me alone, Sith? Silence! The only voice here should be mine! Diago, you're every bit the monster Vavaron Zare is. You will both pay. You want to kill the Jedi. You want to drop your weapons. Stop waving your hands like that. You both look ridiculous. Strong-minded, hmm? You're no use to me. You want to kill your captain. Don't listen to her. It's a trick. No more! I find the beautiful girl myself! Droids! Kill everyone! I didn't do anything! Everyone! You betrayed Zare and helped me defeat her. Why? Heat of the moment. I could have just as easily gone with her. I can't tell if you're lying to me or yourself. Regardless, you have my thanks. I see now why Zare thought this box was worth killing over. Thank the Force we stopped her. This is a Sith holocron. It was created centuries ago by a powerful Dark Lord called Darth Nihilus. What would something like that fetch on the open market? It can't be sold. It's terribly dangerous. I'll ensure this relic remains safely hidden from Zare's allies. The Empire must never access the terrible secrets contained here. My ship is waiting nearby. I should go. We've saved countless lives today. Let's do it again sometime. If you were a little more serious-minded, you'd make a fine Jedi. Goodbye. May the Force protect you. Not Drayan. Not Drayan. That's all I hear. What was it like to fight Not Drayan? Oh, the next time some fool asks me that, I'll bury this holo recording in his forehead and play it back for the survivors. Not Drain was never a true gangster. Not like me. He just pretended. 
People think I fought him because he was more successful. Because he made me number two. Because he stole my wife. Lies! I fought him because he was no more a gangster than I am a senator. Nock was a con artist. The whole underworld was his mark. He was using us for something. Don't know what. But I do know he never gave a damn about being king of the underworld. He was all just a game. At least that pile of filth is finally dead. I raided his storehouse just to be sure. He never came. I'm still alive and he's not. I won. You hear that, Nock? I won!